Hi, I'm Alan Hills, and welcome to the College of St. Rose's Movie Review Show, A Night at the Movies, brought to you by the Campus Production Club, St. Rose Television. Let's cut to the chase. The Equalizer 2, one of summer 2018's coolest action movies, will be released on Blu-ray October 16th. It was actually the first Equalizer film that I saw in the theater. My grandfather actually watched the first one before I did, and then brought over his Redbox rental copy for me and him to watch. He was really convinced I would like it. And he was right. A couple days later, we saw the second one together at the theater, and it was great. Therefore, I finally present to you my review of this excellent film. Just let me set my stopwatch first, so I can see if I can keep this review under three minutes. And here we go. Sequels following the first film of a franchise are usually not that good, and that is an unfortunate fact when it comes to film. However, The Equalizer 2 is the triumphant exception, where it is just as good as the first. The reason why is because it contains improved storyline repetitions of the first film that are overwhelmingly successful. While the legendary retired intelligence operative Robert McCall's work and social lives are taken in some new directions, he leads the same simple lifestyle of reading books and punishing wrongdoers when they harm nice people. Even though it's been four years since the first film was released, Washington is still captivating through this role. Aside from Washington's typically powerful acting, other factors also play into the satisfaction that The Equalizer 2 brings. It happens to contain the same visual sophistication that the first one had, thanks to the returning director Antoine Fuqua's masterful cinematography. These films have visual styles that are way fancier than most action films. While the locales mostly consist of seemingly ordinary everyday surroundings, it's the varying ways in which they're artistically presented that make them so incredibly intriguing. However, the most important reason for the tremendous success of The Equalizer 2 is in fact its storyline. While the first film dealt with McCall being driven to avenge his friends after they were hurt, someone very close to him is actually murdered in this sequel. The nature of the cinematic occurrence was truly awful and sad, but was actually the reason why this film worked. Because an incredibly good person who he admires is brutally killed, McCall's lifestyle of vengeance automatically becomes more exciting and satisfying than it already was. So, need I say more? Please be sure to watch The Equalizer 2, because like the first one, it is an intriguing, sophisticated, action-filled spectacle filled with the cunning lethality of good old Denzel. 2 minutes, 27 seconds. How about that? And that's all the time we have. I'm Alan Hills, and this has been A Night at the Movies. Thank you for watching. See you next week.